For those of you who have been longtime viewers of my channel, you'll probably remember this patient. Last time we did a video on her a few years ago, she was very generous and spoke to us about her battle with depression and how that affects her self-care and hygiene. And so we're able to revisit that for a minute today. Mostly it's about trimming her toenails and she's a very nice lady. And I hope that you enjoy our video today. Now you don't have to be quiet because if you recall, um, when we talked about when you were here previously, and we had talked about depression and not wanting to do much and taking care of your feet. And um, people really reached out and appreciated that conversation. So huh. you definitely don't have to be quiet because it, well, it helped a lot of people. You know how that's good to make it worth something but as I understand it this is for life the depression <laughs> or the nail care both <laughs> okay yeah um, I mean the the disease is just or whatever you want to call it well, it is it's just a brain pardon it's just a brain chemistry disorder I can't hear you. Oh, it's a brain chemistry disorder. <laughs> I know you don't mean the lymphedema. <laughs> oh, is that what you're talking about? The lymphedema? Both. I was talking about. Okay. <laughs> and I try not to cross contaminate. Mm -hmm. I, and, you know, a bunch of them are tinted, aren't they? Discolored, you mean? T E N T. Oh, tinted. Uh -huh. Um, yeah, I mean, it's normal for some people for the shape of the nail to change, you know, as we move forward in life. So, you're one of those lucky people. Thank you, Mom and Dad. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like that gender referral. <laughs> oh, I'm sure glad you're going to be able to be away for your holidays and I hope you'll have lots of family. Oh, the Jewish high holidays? Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize they were called high holidays. Yeah. That's They're, interesting. Yeah, it's like where, you know, in college if a, a Christian kid was going to go home for Christmas um, to celebrate with family, um, the what? Jewish kids would go home for Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. Oh. Um, those are the more important holidays in the I Jewish calendar. why they don't make those school holidays. It depends on where you live. Where I grew up, they did. Oh. Because there were as many Jewish teachers as there were Jewish students in the city where I lived. So the where, public schools were closed. Where did you grow up? In Southern California. Oh. Yeah. Is it a cluster of cities or a widespread distribution of cities that do that in that area? I think it's every school district makes their own decision. Oh. I, I'm just going to... It, it shouldn't just be all these uh, so-called Christian... Holidays? Holidays that are recognized to the extent that it's, it should, to me, it should be a holiday like Christmas Eve, Christmas. Um, and I guess there aren't enough numbers to. That's, that's the thing. Force the issue. Yeah. Oh boy, these, they're just worse and worse, aren't they? Your nails? They're actually not as bad as I expected because you haven't been here in probably six months. No, I was here the last um, appointment. It t I'm about a, a week. I had to um, postpone, and so that's why I'm. 
So this is just a couple of weeks beyond your normal appointment time? I don't know for sure how if it got that far, but it was close if it didn't. Because, boy, you've been so busy, haven't you? It's been crazy, yeah. I mean, it's almost two months to get in now. Wow, that one's... A little sore. Yeah. Yeah, well, you remember how domed the tops of my feet were with uh -huh. that swelling that day? That was the last day I was here. Okay. And I ended up having to go to urgent care because it looked like the top of my foot was going to burst. Huh. And you know what that... that uh, ER physician told my sister, Ann and I, hmm. or me, that um, nobody really knows why the um, lymphedema happens like this, and she said, I hate to tell you though, it is recognized as one of the possibilities in uh, Oh, I'm, I forgot to turn that darn thing off. That was just... Uh, that phone was supposed to be a good idea because I, it's the same so-called basic phone uh -huh. as the one that finally after seven years had had it. The guy told me five is pushing it. <laughs> With cell phones? Yeah. yeah. Nothing's made to last anymore. And it was doing all kinds of stunts you wouldn't believe. So. Uh, and finally, the only way you could talk on it was if it was plugged in. <laughs> yeah, that they're not meant to last. But All right. it is so different and so complicated, and and it's when they transferred it over, that's a big mistake to transfer all your contacts and everything, because they jumble them and they change the colors associated with. Mm. And I don't know who they is. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get these smoothed out.
see on the end of that big toe? Mm -hmm. I have to watch it because if I've got a blanket over it because my feet are cold, but right I there. want the air conditioner on. Mm -hmm. Because it felt it felt like it was making a blister, but you know, I try to do the stuff under the blanket, these circulation exercises. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of the kind of good thing you do like your skin and your um, Do you get to go to California? Um, you know, I haven't. Um recently. Uh, mostly just because I don't feel like I want to get on an airplane right now. I don't want to get on a plane. Oh. At least 75% of the patients who came in this summer who had traveled came back with COVID or got COVID where they were. So people who traveled by plane, I just saw a lot of COVID and it's, it's so crazy. I'm just not excited about going through an airport right now. Yes. Versus they were. Well, you, did you take all of these? I did. Oh, man. You must have a, I hope you have a fantastic zoom lens. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I was not that close to the bear, and I was not that close to the buffalo. What did you say? I was not that close to the bear, and I was not that close to the buffalo. Oh, smart. Yeah. <laughs> On both counts. <laughs> So we're just going to trim this down a little bit and then I'm going to smooth it using the sander. Using a what? The sander, the, what I used on your nails. Oh, that? Yeah. Oh, sander, that's what you said. For a minute, <laughs> I couldn't make anything fit or logic. Well, you look like you've lost a ton of weight since I last saw you. Have you been trying to? No. No? Is that the depression kicking in, or? I think that that's a lot. I think the combination of that, because I've never been one to be, not have an appetite just because I was depressed. In fact, it would be the opposite. Mm -hmm. But um, 
with the other stuff. tickle question. How come I can tickle myself and it doesn't tickle? Yeah. Um. Alright, let's figure this one. Good. I wondered if your legs weren't getting mighty tired. care I won't look so grotesque. <laughs> tell you what these exercises have done for me because I couldn't use the supportos every day because my sister but just isn't available you know like that. Oh, to help you put them on? Yeah with all the equipment 